Good morning everyone, my name is Garner Graham and I'm taking James's place for the week for these thoughts of the day. That's because we are doing a new series called Gardens That Changed the World. This week we are looking at the big message of the Bible, focusing on key events around gardens. Today we're thinking about creation and the Garden of Eden. I'm going to read from Genesis 2 verses 8 to 9. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. The Lord made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Garden of Eden, it was an amazing garden. It was better than Kew Gardens, even better than my garden. And that's because the Garden of Eden was made and designed by God, the creator of the world, as Genesis 1 makes clear. It was a beautiful garden full of lovely trees and wonderful rivers. It had everything necessary to support life. And God made Adam and then Eve, and he knew them and he loved them. And he took them to work in the garden and to take care of it. God wants man to enjoy the garden. He tells Adam later that you are free to eat from any tree in the garden. But God as the creator has the right to rule humanity. And he rules by his word, by speaking. There was just one law in the garden, and that was to protect them. God tells Adam, you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat of it, you will surely die. This rule was a chance for man to obey God, to show respect and thanks to him. But tomorrow, sadly, we will see how it all went wrong in the garden. But for now, let's remember that there in the beginning, there was perfect relationships between God and humanity, between humanity and creation, between man and woman. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your amazing creation. Thank you that you made us for relationship with you. Help us to take good care of the world you have made. Amen. Have a good Monday. See you tomorrow.